Oh hi, Roleplay Man UK here, and I want to talk to you about the top five biggest ripoffs about the Elder Scrolls Online. I know what you're thinking. This is another video where I rant for 10 minutes and make subtle jabs and just generally shit on the game. Well, you're right. So let's jump into it. Now, it should come as no surprise that 99% of my issues about this game oh, hi, revolve around the Crown Store. But the question is, do you understand how much you're being ripped off by the Crown Store? I bet you don't. So I've compiled a list of five things which I'd like to see changed, updated, and generally fixed. Because quite frankly, it's fucking disgusting. So here you go. Here's five things that are rip off. Why you should be as outraged as I am. Let's start with number one. The new Shadow Silk Goblin Polymorph in the Crown Store is what actually triggered me enough to make this video. In order to understand the outrage, you have to be aware that there's such a thing called a Shadow Silk Gem, which allows you to disguise yourself as a goblin. Now this has been in the game since the very start, and those people used to be able to use this in PvP up until about 2-3 years ago. And now, they brought out this new Goblin Polymorph, which does work in PvP. Now, some of you might think that perhaps they did this on purpose. Maybe it's the tinfoil hat I've got on, but it almost feels like they waited for enough new players to come in and old players to leave for them to release this so that no one would actually be like, hey, hang on, we had this before. Why are you charging us for it? I mean, they wouldn't do that, would they? Charge us for something which we already got? And this is why it's in my top five shit list. I mean, ripoffs. Stop! You violated the law! I know what you're thinking. How can the guy with a clinker addiction hate housing? Now, before you roleplay and start sending me death threats, I love housing. But my problem is the price of houses and what you get on your return of investment. To understand this, let's step back a bit and have a look at the recent house that was for sale. So the Princely Dawnlight Palace, it retails at 14,000 crown. Now, if you don't know how much this is, um, it's roughly about 100 bucks, depending on where you live in the world. Now, that's not necessarily the worst thing about this. If you actually include furnishings, it goes up to 17,000 crowns. And you think, fuck me, that's a lot of real life money. The question is though, with all this being paid, what extra benefits do you get? Maybe there's like an automatic deconstruction lab. Um, maybe it wanks you off. But the fun fact is, you get nothing extra. You still have the same inventory space as other houses. So it doesn't seem like you're getting anything other than just aesthetic appeal. Now to add to this, and this is the thing that really grinds my fucking gears. Fair enough, if you wanna pay money, you can pay money. Like, I'm not your dad, I'm not telling you what to do. But the fact is, you can't actually buy this with gold. I know people go jump up and say, well, you could use a gold exchange, but listen, not everyone's that trusting, uh, myself included, but there's no actual options here to use gold to purchase option so doesn't this kind of feel like it's behind a paywall that you could never breach i mean what if mum doesn't let you use a credit card what are you supposed to do and how are you supposed to go hey nan for christmas can you get me an imaginary house which is worth over a hundred fucking dollars i just don't see it happening if this was a one-off dlc house i would probably just shrug and go all right fair enough role players go role play but this is on all the houses that they tend to release. The only exception was the Halloween house where you could actually buy it with gold. But why is that? Why is this so fucking stuck behind the paywall? I mean, didn't they get into trouble for this exact same reason when it comes to crown crates? You! Fuck you! I'm done! So I'm not going to pretend to be some kind of saint and say I've never bought crown crates because gambling is bad. I'm, I mean, I'm just as big as an idiot as the next guy. I see something shiny, I want it, I buy it. But the problem is, it's just the actual odds on these fucking things seem to be so rigged and horribly wrong. I mean, this is the actual official statistics to say what the odds are. Now, if you've played this game enough, you can pretty much say, well, that's a fucking lie. 2% for an Apex reward. I've seen people buy fucking hundreds of crates and never ever receive an Apex. In my experience, Apexes are as rare as rocking horse shit. But that's not just like the worst part of it. Like the odds, don't be wrong, they are forever stacked against you. 
but it's just the fact that the duplicates, when you get a fucking duplicate, it's worth fuck all. And it just feels like that is the bit that really grinds my gears. Like, why don't they have it so you take the duplicates out the boxes? So at least, you know, over time you can build up a collection and it's not a forever circle of fucking throwing money into a pit. At least, you know, you can say, look, if worst case scenario, if you spend $800, you'll have everything in the crown store. I mean, I know why they don't do it. It's their business model. Do you know how much money they make off these fucking things? But the fact is, it is gambling. It is illegal in some countries to gamble. I mean, FIFA packs, you can't buy them in Saudi Arabia. So if you play FIFA pro teams, you can't actually have it. And it's the same for crown crates. So why do we accept that these are so fucking rigged? Why is this something that people actually buy into? Oh, that's right, because you've got endeavors now. So therefore, technically, you can get the stuff in the crown store by doing 2,000 hours on this game and you can finally afford that soul gem you've always wanted. I'm exaggerating, I know, but still, you get my point. Fucking, the endeavors do not add up to what the reward should be. I don't know. I just feel like it's another big con. This is why mom doesn't fucking love you! <laughs> if you want to know how much they care about new players, uh, they care about them this much. They are literally charging them for something which can be paid for in-game with very little gold. 800 crowns to cure your fucking vampire. And this is the thing, it really pisses me off that the crown store literally preys on new players. Like, you can buy fucking soul gems in there for fuck's sake. Like, why would you ever buy soul gems for this amount of fucking crowns? It's disgusting. DISGUSTING! And it just goes to show how much they really care about new players. They just see him as an opportunity to get as much money out of him as they can. Case in point, fucking goblin costume. I'm just wondering how far will they go with this and, you know, will new players suddenly realise? One of the biggest fuckeries about this game is the fact that nothing transfers. Anything you buy on the EU server does not transfer over to the NA server. Anything you buy on Xbox does not transfer over to PC. It's just one big con. Like, I've had to buy any race, any alliance, like, fucking six times now. Six. And the worst thing is, stuff like the banker, houses, they don't transfer across. None of it does. So you can spend up to, what, 20,000 crowns if you want to play on both servers? And why is this? There's no logical reason for it. All the accounts are linked. Everything is, like, can be validated. It's the same fucking logon. But for some reason... Your crown store items are not linked. Even the gems that you get. The only things that actually carry over are your crowns. And do you know why? Because crowns are king. Crowns is all that matters. Crowns is life. They know they can get you by making you buy more and more crowns. And that's why I just want to say, these are the top five biggest fucking cons on this game. I'm not going to stop playing it. I'm not going to stop buying crown crates. I'm still a fucking Plinko addict. But, you know, it's just... It's sad, something needs to change. And even if it's just like a little change, like take fucking Vamp Cure out of the fucking crown store, you fucking losers. Stop picking on you people. Then I'll be happy. But, as always, it's not gonna happen. Anyway, if you can think of anything else, comment below. If you like what I just said, leave a like. And if you kinda wanna see more of what I have to say, maybe subscribe. Anyway. See you in the next one. Bye.